all righty well back to spreading today i got the 16 the mini both over here we'll see which one works better my hopes are the mini will work better but i forgot the keys to them over on the bench so dad's bringing those to me but uh my plan is to just park the mini up there on top of the pile i'm gonna real quick kind of scrape out of this corner here and get it squared off so i could drive in with the tractor and spreader and park right there just sit on top of the pile and load into the spreader so but here's the new web chain 67 h links i wanted to go with t-bar or pentanol or whatever you want to call them chain because the 67 h has a 4500 pound yield strength which with two chains in there it's probably not a hundred percent double but you're probably looking at somewhere around a 7500 8000 pound yield strength between the two chains dragging well the t-bar links are 16,000 pound yield strength at least according to the chart in the shoot book this was eighty dollars for a 10 foot roll t-bar links were seven dollars a link and i was looking at like over a grand to put a web chain in this thing where this one was with the regular chain the bar links and the rivets i have like 430 dollars in this web chain so yeah a little bit of a difference but when i put this one in i made it to the way the book said you have 50 or there's 15 bars in it you make 10 bars with seven links trailing and five bars with six links trailing and that's supposed to give you the right le length of chain well i made it the way the book said and it was still too tight so i had to add a link which tells you how far the original chain was stretched so but i had to right here's where the links i had to add i shot that section with primer so that i knew where because i'm i gotta believe after spreading today getting all the paint worn off the inside of the links and getting them all wore in i'll probably end up taking those links back out to get the chain where it's supposed to be but for now we're gonna run it this way but even with those links in it's still way tighter than the one that was in it because the one that was in it was hanging down to like here so and the one that was in it i could damn near take apart by hand this one i was wailing on it as hard as i could with a 32 ounce ball peen hammer to get the links to go together so a little bit tighter so we shouldn't have any issues now lord willing it is sunday so you never know but i'm gonna get started here here in a little bit matt's bringing his tractor and spreader over i don't know if he's gonna bring a 1655 or a 3020 he was trying he was him hawing as to which one but uh he had to weigh some hogs for fair this morning so we've got to get that out of the way but then he's gonna be here we're gonna be running two tractors and two spreaders so hopefully be able to knock the shit out of that pile i don't know if i'm gonna get it all spread but this is the last day i want to spread because i got other stuff to worry about so and i want to get these fields plowed so anyhow just waiting on dad to bring me some skis okay let's see how this works
finally got here. There's one you don't see every day. I'm not gonna go off and say it's rare, but it's certainly an odd combination. 3020 gas power shift. Not something you really see every day. Gotta take care of the minions, right? Got your Gatorade, got your tea, got your snack cakes, got your low octane bush. That ought to keep everybody happy. Here comes Budro on that 1850. Don't mind the 1855 sheet metal, that's just what they had to stick on it for now. That's a good running tractor. That one didn't have a whole lot of hours on it when they brought it home. It had a Henniker cab and they put the fenders on it. Looks a lot better with the fenders on it. That Henniker cab on a narrow front, it was a QT Henniker. I wouldn't know, it was a year round. It was a year round QT1. Um, but that big dorky cab on a narrow front tractor, it just didn't, it didn't look right. But that's, that tractor, that thing runs good, I tell you what.
we put a dent in it because it was about four foot past these telephone or past these fence posts and clear out to here like right about here it was all that i don't even know how many loads we spread today it was a lot because last saturday or last sunday i ran for about four hours by myself before i busted the spreader so there was that today i ran an hour by myself and then budro showed up we were running two spreaders for three hours and then matt showed up we were running three spreaders for three hours and we basically never stopped running a loop i we stopped for like 15 minutes when i brought that stuff from the gas station to eat and other than that we were for last well since 10 i think i started about quarter to 10. so since that time there we were running basically a constant loop dad stayed on the excavator we were running running laps that whole time and i bet there's still another six hours of spreading there maybe let maybe a little less we were moving pretty good there in the end once we got the rhythm down but Uh, right there toward the end, Budro, they just put a new poly floor in their, uh, that big new idea spreader, and right there at the end, it had started walking out the back, and it had come out the back of the spreader about six inches, so he quit. He was about, when he had about half a load on it when he noticed it, so... He took off, went home. I told him if he needed help, let me know, but he said he had it, so. Um, and then right at the end, when Dad was coming off the pile, apparently either there's a, there a hydraulic hose leaking in the wheel motor, or it blew or whatever, but he came down. You can't see the track anymore because I graded it all. The, well, you can see the spot up here probably, but we... Uh, have hydraulic oil coming out of one of the wheel motors on the mini so we need to get that taken care of i was gonna go ahead and just call it good but so i can get this field plowed but with fair coming up next week and whatnot everybody's kind of busy and with one more day of spreading we could probably have that pile gone so weather permitting matt and i are probably gonna come over here next saturday and finish off hauling that out of here hopefully so i do like loading with the mini better than a loader tractor um for my spreader and matt spreader it's just about per it's just about the perfect size for Budro spreader, it's a little sm it's it's kind of small, but you work with what you got. Um, well, like I say, I like loading with that better than a loader tractor because here I gotta Can you stay there, maybe, maybe not. It'll stay there. Um, with the mini, you can see. Well, it, uh, it busts that stuff up a lot better so you don't end up with a bunch of big chunks in the spreader. So that's nice. And then, uh, that's kind of janky. You don't end up with a bunch of big chunks in the spreader so it spreads out nicer and then we ended up with a lot less net wrap today because his dad was loading it you could see it and so we pulled a bunch of chunks out and i think that littler bucket tore it up better so he ended up with smaller pieces if it did end up going through the spreader so oh the cows know the gate is open they've been bawling i think they're thirsty they've been over there for a while But anyway, 
probably we're, we're probably gonna get at least one hopefully just one more day of spread and we'll get that pile gone i do not know i i, I think i misspoke i i don't know how long i think i said that pile was like five or six years old i bet that pile's 10 or 15 years old judging by the shit we're digging out of it but if not longer than that i don't i don't even want to know how many loads we well you could count you can count the number of passes we took across the field, know exactly how many loads we hauled out, and I bet we're north of 50 so far with with what we got hauled out, and I bet there's another 30 or 40 in there yet, so. The Odu Idea Spreader come out of retirement in a big way, I tell you what. So, anyway, gotta get this rig home and get it back in the barn, so. Guess that's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one.